I'm Jerry Newton. I'm the Planning and Development Director of Licking County, and I'm with Scott Fulton, who is the Director of Planning in Pataskala. Pataskala is a very interesting city. In fact, we just got done talking for about an hour, um, you sharing some thoughts about what it looks like in another project called Community Snapshots. Uh, a phrase that came out, Scott, was um, actually one that Jay Fisher used, but it seems to summarize real quick um, the idea that Pataskal is a city that can act as a township. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are talking that you are in a position right now to look at a future of Pataskal that is going to be landscape laid out in, in this next year. Mm -hmm. um, in your own words, why is this a really unique time in Pataskala's life as a young city? Well, that's a good question. Um, Pataskala is, you know, almost 30 square miles, and we're facing incredible development pressures, you know, from the north, the south, the west. Um, but Pataskala, since Pataskala and Lima Township merged, it created a large rural landscape. And just to be clear, 30 square miles is a really large area. Definitely. Um, so Five as, miles this way, six miles this way, or something like that. Yeah. It's a big land area. Yes, and uh, there's a, a large rural landscape um, in Patasco that is very important to you know the, the residents to maintain that. Um, so the, the interesting thing that we're tasked with is, is balancing these development pressures, doing it responsibly, while still re, uh, retaining the rural atmosphere of the task law. Something you said when we were talking before was you actually think that this idea that this city in that 30 square mile area is not going to be what most people typically think of as a city. Describe that a little bit of what you're thinking its future is going to look like. I think in the and a lot of folks, and I've heard it time and time again, a lot of folks said they moved to Patasco because they wanted, they wanted to buy land and they wanted the rural atmosphere. So it, it's important to maintain that to allow the character of Patasco to continue. Um, but then, from the city perspective, a lot of times with cities, there's amenities, you know, retail, commercial um, facilities that come in. That it's it's important to balance that and not lose sight of what makes Pataskala Pataskala. You said something about uh, Columbus and the idea of the growth of all the urban area mm -hmm. and after that growth is over to know that, uh, tell me a little, say that a little bit more. I guess, words. I guess the way, it, kind of the analogy is that the wave comes and crashes over Pataskala. It's It'd be nice to see as that moves away that Pataskala hasn't changed. And that's or, part of what you're working yeah, on doing. Yeah, any change that does occur was done responsibly in the right direction, and but Pataskala still stays Pataskala. That's a great point. It's a big point, Scott. Mm -hmm. We talked uh, a minute. I shared this idea that you're actually in a steward role. Mm -hmm. You've been entrusted with uh, helping Pataskala, you and others mm -hmm. who've been hired, and it's not one that you're just doing same old way or or just saying a little at a time but you're saying let's take what we've been given knowing that there's so much new happening mm -hmm. and grow it is that or, or how would you how do you view that I, I think you know with everybody who's working in City Hall now um, it's not to be okay with complacency um, it should be every day we're improving how can we do this better how can we do this in a way that that benefits all and not just business as usual even if a change is made it's still not done mm -hmm. uh, for example if you change a zoning regulation let it play out for a year then reassess the work did it work did it not what was good what was bad and then work to address what didn't work and always keep getting better and I think a lot of the folks at City Hall have that same mindset. Well, Scott, you're in a great position right now. Uh, you are affecting the future for the next 50 years mm -hmm. this year in 2017. Wish you all the best. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with us. Well, thank you very much for having me. Take care. Thanks.